I think the important thing from a British perspective is that at least the Australian public got a vote. This is something that we missed in the UK where same-sex marriage was introduced for much of the population without being in a political party's manifesto and against the wishes of the majority who replied to the consultation exercise. What have the Australians voted for? I'm afraid I think they voted for the slippery slope. Um, we've seen in the United Kingdom that this has been followed by moves to introduce LGBT lifestyles to children as young as five in the classroom. Um, it's also been followed by an exercise to get rid of the very idea of gender being related to biology itself. So um, at least this is something that the Australians have gone into with their eyes open, but I'm afraid the consequences could be very grave indeed.